Welcome to the last section of the course, Scanning, Auditing and Hardening. In this section we'll cover these topics. Installing and updating ClamAV and Maldit. Scanning with ClamAV and Maldit. SE Linux considerations. Scanning for rootkits with Rootkit Hunter. Controlling the Audit D daemon. Creating audit rules. Using the OR search and OR report utilities to search the audit logs for problems. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with installing and updating ClamAV and Maldit. In this video, we will start by installing ClamAV. Then we will install and configure Maldit. We'll begin by installing ClamAV. We'll also install wget, which we'll use to download LMD. The command that will help you install ClamAV and wget on Ubuntu is this. We need to be root, so I will just add sudo in front of it. Run the command now. It will take quite some time for the installation to be done. After the installation is complete, next you'll download and install LMD. Here you'll want to do something that I rarely tell people to do. That is, you'll want to log in to the root user shell. The reason is that although the LMD installer works fine with sudo, you'll end up with the program files being owned by the user who performed the installation, instead by the root user. Performing the installation from the root user's shell saves us the trouble of tracking down those files and changing ownership. So, be root and download the file with this command. After the command is run successfully, you will get this output. You'll now have the file in the root user's home directory. Now extract the archive, enter the resultant directory and run the installer. Once the installer finishes, copy the readme file to your own home directory so that you can have it for ready reference. Then exit from the root user's shell back to your own shell. So extract the archive, then change the directory, and run the installer. Now copy the readme file to your home directory. As you can see, the installer automatically creates the symbolic link that enables the Maldit service, and it also automatically downloads and installs the newest malware signatures. The next step is configuring Maldit. If you try to start the Maldit service at this point, it will fail. To make it work, you need to configure the directories that you want it to automatically monitor and scan. To do this, you'll add the directories to the USR local maldetect monitor underscore paths file. For now, I just want to monitor the home and root directories, so open your monitor paths file. Enter these lines in the file. After you save the file, you'll be able to start the Maldit daemon, so let's exit from here. Start Maldit daemon with this command. You can add more directories to the monitor underscore paths file at any time, but remember to restart the Maldit daemon at any time you do that, in order to read in the new additions. The configuration file for LMD is conf.maldit. Let's have a look at the file. It's very well documented with well written comments for every configuration item, so you shouldn't have any trouble figuring it out. For now, we're only going to make a few configuration changes. At the top of the file, enable email alerts and set your username as the email address. The two lines should now look something like this. LMD isn't already configured to move suspicious files to the quarantine folder, and we want to make it do that. Open the conf.maldit file in your text editor and look for the line that says quarantine hits equal to zero. Change the value to one. You'll see a few other quarantine actions that you can configure, but for now, this is all we need. After you save the file, restart Maldit. The new changes will now be in effect. On your CentOS machine, you'll see a clamav update cron job in the etc cron.d directory. Open the file. 
permission is denied, so let's move to root and try for it again. This is the file. The asterisk slash 3 indicates that ClamAV will check for updates every 3 hours. You can change that if you like, but you'll also need to change the setting in the fresh clam file. Let's say that you want for CentOS to also check for ClamAV updates every hour. In the cron job file, change the asterisk slash 3 to asterisk. Then open the etc sysconfig fresh clam file. Here, look for the line fresh clam mod equal to. Uncomment that line and add the number of minutes that you want between updates. To set it to one hour, in order to match the cron job, it will look like this. Save and exit this file. To prove that maldit is getting updated, you can look in its own log files in the user local maldetect logs directory. So navigate to that directory. Open the event log file. This is the complete content of the file. Now open conf.maldit file. You'll see these two lines but with some comments in between them. Here they are. Not only will LMD automatically update its malware signatures, it will also ensure that you have the latest version of LMD itself. We installed and configured ClamAV and Maldit in this video.